grits and add nuts that melt in your mouth and turn to lead in your guts. Mmm, gross. Welcome back to another video. And today I want to talk about the G.I. Joe Classified Series G.I. Joe MacArthur S. Ito, also known as AKA Quick Kick. Now I've been waiting for this guy to come out for a while. I had him pre-ordered on BBTS. I went into uh, a GameStop where I live and there he was on the shelf. So I picked him up and then I canceled my order on BBTS. Unfortunately, uh, you know, here in New York, we get these figures um, sometimes way behind everybody else, but that's just the way it goes. And sometimes when you order your, you know, pre-order something online, it takes a little bit longer to get. But anyway, enough of that nonsense. Here we have MacArthur S. Ito, and yes, he is number 116 in the line. Here's his box. Here he is in all his glory inside the packaging. And yes, here we go. We have another picture of Quick Kick on the side, number 116, the barcode that goes nowhere. And there he is. Let me turn it sideways. There he is posing in the Arctic, just like when he, uh, was with Alpine and Bazooka, and you see Storm Shadow over here on the iceberg over here, and then some leopard seals, and uh, yeah, you don't see Alpine or Bazooka, but Alpine has not been made. Can't wait for him to be made, but yet we do have Bazooka. So with that being said, moving on to more artwork on the side, let's get this guy out of this packaging, and let's talk about Quick Kick. All right, so now that we have Quick Kick out of the package, Let's talk about this guy for a second. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm just ecstatic to actually see this guy has been finally made. I think he should have been made a long time ago. That's just my opinion. I'm not knocking Hasbro for it. I'm just saying that there are certain characters that, yeah, should have been made quite a while ago. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but you know what? We have him, and let's move on with that. So taking a look at this guy. So... Looking at this head sculpt right here, I mean, that's absolutely just amazing the way they did it. They have his uh, Karate Kid type headband on there. Uh, that's what I've always called it since I was a kid, because <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. Now, this guy is the equivalency of uh, the G.I. Joe's version of Bruce Lee. Not to say that that's where they were going, but yeah. Anyway, this guy here, uh, beautiful eyes, face, everything. The hair, the way the hair goes, it's parted, the way it falls, the tie on the back of the, hold on a second, let me fix this. There we go. The tie on the back of the actual uh, bandana there that he has, uh, or headband, I should say. I'm sorry, I said bandana. But then anyway, you have a whole different new body sculpt with this guy. He's slender on the side, which he should be. And you know, for a guy who's running around without his shirt on, uh, carrying a bandolier with throwing stars in it, just absolutely just a great, great character. Then you have his little wristbands here, going down to the pants. Now you have his belt, the buckle, glad they added a little paint there, and then the pouches, and then of course the Nunchaku uh, holders on the back. And then this I, I thought was pretty cool that they did. They actually did the design, it's almost like a wind design on the uh on the pants now this guy here um, in case you guys didn't know he's actually japanese korean descent and uh yeah he wasn't accepted in his uh, uh culture because of the facts that he that he was mixed just going off of well, you know the the on how and his character was uh, actually created moving down the pants I like the way they did the gi pants right here uh they don't go all the way to the bottom. They just go right to here to show, you know, the this part of the shin and then the ankles and then the feet. This guy's always running around barefoot. It doesn't matter if it's ice, hot. It doesn't matter if it's road, rocks, whatever. This guy can work through the terrain. But anyway, back to his, his a little bit of his background um, by showing this guy off. He, um, yeah, he, he was a lover of basketball, but because of his height, could not get into uh playing basketball <laughs> and then uh also he uh he's a martial arts expert uh many different martial arts he's in uh was it taekwondo tai chi wing chung uh then there is the guru ryu or whatever it is uh also mantis kung fu so yeah, this guy is well-rounded when it comes to uh, doing some 
some martial arts. Now I'm just doing a quick little pose with him. You guys know how I am with this. But uh, yeah, he looks, he looks, he looks good. And yes, he has trigger fingers because he does use a gun. So that, that makes sense for him to come with, you know, two hands with trigger fingers on him. I mean, I know we're not going to leave him like this, but you know, you want to get that certain type of look, even with those trigger fingers, you know, you, you can, you can do that as well. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, when it comes to posing them however you want. Can he do a kick? Yes, he could do a kick, no problem. He could do a nice front kick right here to show that he can get that foot up. Um, you know, and yeah, he doesn't have a ball hinge or, you know, toe hinge right here, which is fine. It doesn't make a difference. It's not going to break or make my opinion on this figure because they did a fabulous job with it. Now, getting him to do a side kick, that's simple too. You can get him to do a side kick, bring his toe in a little bit or hinge up a little bit. And there you go. And yeah, you can bend him at the torso some. And there he is doing a nice, nice high side kick. So they did make him to where he is definitely, um, you know, he can do almost a full, full split. I guess if you use that drop down, it'll work even better to get that split. But yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely... Um, Definitely, definitely cool to have this guy on the roster finally. So let me get him settled in. I mean, and the joints move very easily. I'm not having any issues with them either. Uh, I know that like my Techno Viper, he was very, very stiff when it comes to, and the bandolier, my my bandolier right here moves around a little bit. That's not a problem either. But yeah, he, um, he definitely, definitely poses a lot easier. Than the techno viper did and they're both from the same 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 part of the, of the series right they're like whatever number series this is of them coming out uh they came out at the same time but yeah he is definitely a lot easier to move around considering he doesn't have those real stiff joints like the techno viper now i'm not complaining about the techno viper it's cool that he came with those stiff stiff joints that means they're not going to wear out so quick but you do want them to move a little bit better all right so enough of my rambling and everything now that I've gone over a little bit of the history of this guy. Uh, and that's not what you guys come to see. You guys come to see the uh, the characters. So with that being said, let's start taking a look at the accessories that this guy comes with. And let's end this review. All right. So here he is with his two fists on there. Striking up a fighting pose. Very well done. And I'm glad that they added the fists in there. I'm glad that they're actually adding some more hands and accessories into the figures. All right, so now we have his Wing Chun style hands or karate chopping hands or just open, flat, striking hands. However you want to pose him or use him, whatever the case is, you have those as well. So starting off with the accessories, we have Quick Kicks backpack and it's just casted in all red. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, the original one was all red as well. But then you have the scabbers, which are going to hold his swords right on both sides of the backpack. You got the pouches, nothing else painted, but otherwise, nice cool accessory. All right, so here's Quick Kick swords, and I love the way they did them. Very nice. They're not the same swords as everybody else's. They are actually their own. They're made differently. I like the way they did the uh, hilt over here, and then the pommels here on the back. They have the tiger heads. And I don't know if that's coming through, but that is awesome. I like the fact that they included that. It's a tiny detail that they didn't have to do, but they did. So that's really nice that they put them in. You know, so. And then these here, <clears throat> excuse me, they just slide right into the scabbers in the back. As long as I'm putting them in the right way. That slides in, and then this one will slide in and... They fit really nice. This one sits up a little bit. Oh, there it goes. It must have been... Just need a little bit of a push down in there. But there you go. And they're on him. And he's hanging out. And he's got his weapons. And yeah. So let's take a look at what else he comes with. Next we have the throwing star effect. And I thought this was really cool that they added this in there. So you have uh, the fact of... Well, you know, this is what's going to be holding in his hand. Like if he was throwing it. And then the star flying through the air. That's cool. Pretty cool. Next we have Quick Kicks and Chuckos. And listen, these Chucks are really cool. 
I like the fact that they have the same as the swords. They have the tiger heads on them. You have the wraps and then you have the chain. Now the chain is plastic. Yeah, they could have done it in metal, but they didn't. The cool thing is that they actually included him with two pairs of chucks where they didn't even include Storm Shadow with his, which is kind of disappointing, but we're not here for that. But once again, this is absolutely awesome. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. Of course, by taking off the backpack, you can store his chucks right here in these, just pop them in like so. Because to be honest with you, if you're gonna pull the chucks out, you're not gonna pull them from the top. You can actually pull them from the bottom to get them to come out. And trying to get these tiger heads through here is a little bit of a chore. And I don't know why, but it is. It's giving me a hard time. I don't know if it's the mouth on this one, but it's definitely something's holding it up. Give me a second. I'm going to try to get these bad boys in here and then I will show them off. All right, so I got them in there. Uh, what I did find is you have to be a little easy because of the open mouths of the tigers. Kind of get hung up in there and they're they're not stiff. They're soft plastic, so they do go. But there you go. There's his chucks in his actual holsters there. And then, of course, you could take his backpack with his swords and you can add them on there and they don't get in the way. So that's the cool thing about it. So if he was wearing his backpack, he wouldn't have the chucks where he'd pull them the other way. He'd actually have the chucks this way so he could pull them out from underneath and then take care of some business. So yeah, all right. So let's get into the last couple of accessories that he comes with and uh, let's end this review. Next we have Quick Kicks Alternate Face. And yes, of course, I like the fact of how they have him doing the woo type face and the way his hair is flowing off to the side. It's very well done. I do like the fact that they added the extra head sculpt, the extra hands, the way they've done the weapons. They have done an excellent, excellent job with this figure so far. Last but not least in the accessories, we have the chocolate fudgy bar, which shows uh, he shows off because he was doing the commercial. That's how he met Alpine and Bazooka. In the episode when he first showed up, he was doing a commercial on these fudgy bars. Uh, and I guess only Bazooka was the one that could eat them. But like he said, they turn lead to lead in your guts. But I think they did a great job with this. I mean, it's it's a cool little nostalgic throwback to the cartoon. I like the fact that they put the little squares in there in the chocolate bar. And they put the aluminum wrapping in there along with the actual red uh, paper packaging on the top. And then you have a little bit of the silver coming around the back. I think that's actually really cool detail that they added to, you know, just for nostalgia reasons. All right, so now that I've shown off all of Quick Kick's accessories and we've talked about the figure, I just wanna say, and you can see I actually have him posed doing a proper martial arts salute of respect. That is awesome. So, I mean, look, of all in all, this is a great figure. Hasbro has done a fabulous job with this figure they did a fabulous job with big boa they did a fabulous job with uh the techno viper i mean i cannot complain they have done some leaps and bounds but yet still they are putting out some good product so regardless of what's happened in the past with a couple of mistakes here and there they have bounced back and that is what's awesome because this is a great line don't get me wrong i will call it the way i see it and when they do excellent work, like they have done with Quick Kick, the Techno Viper, Big Boa, and many other figures, uh, Mutt and Junkyard, Shipwreck, Hawk. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't say enough good things when they do fabulous work. I mean, granted, we're paying for these figures, and that's all well and good. So if you're a reviewer and you're going to give your opinion on what you think, about the figure and, and, and what you like and what you're paying for, well, you have that right. Doesn't mean that Hasbro's doing it on purpose, just to, you know, they had some QC issues going on and that's what's happened. But hey, look, in the long run, let's hope that they keep getting better and better and that they, you know, when they get to making the Cobra Law figures, which I hope they do, I really, really hope they come out with a Colobulus and a Nemesis Enforcer and a Pythona, that will be fabulous. 
the Dreadnoughts, they knocked it out of the park with the Dreadnoughts, man. I'm telling you, they just, they're just they just getting better and better and better and better. And the fact that they're actually changing up the body styles and stuff like that, that is absolutely fabulous. I think they're doing a fabulous job. I think they're doing a great job. And I can't praise them enough for it. If I can... If I can tear them down when they do make their mistakes and they and, and and they do crap work, I can build them up when they do fabulous work. And that's all I have to say about that. And before we go, the only guy I have out that I want to show a comparison to, of course, is the Techno Viper. And here he is in all his glory, if I can get him to stand up here. Um, yeah, I love this guy. This guy's awesome. And yes, I have his knees bent, so he does look a little shorter than Quick Kick. But overall, a fabulous looking figure. So there you go. There you have him with that. Anyway, guys, listen. This is my review on the G.I. Joe Classified series Quick Kick. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on anything new. And as always, always leave a comment down below. And listen, guys, I just got to say, the more comments you put in, the more likes you hit, the more you share the videos... The more the algorithm is going to pick up the videos, they're going to get them out there and it's just going to help us grow. That way I can keep doing this. And, you know, I mean, I, I don't get paid for doing this. I do this all out of fun. But, you know, the more the videos get out there and they get shared amongst the people in the land. Well, hey, man, that's good for us because then I just keep keep on making more and more more videos, you know, and, and that's that. But I appreciate everybody who does take the time to comment who does take the time to like, even if you don't like, hit the like button or leave a comment. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. Thank you so much. Thank you. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't do this. So with that being said, guys, have a great day. Have a great night wherever you are. And no matter where you are, always catch you on the flippity flip.